Hello everyone, my name is Liam and I'm all Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the 20th game of the 31 days of horror that we are currently doing on the channel. Today we are playing Infliction Extended Cut. Um, I want to quickly get out of the way. I apologise for the last video. I wasn't feeling too happy. This is the place between places here that can only be sadness and resolution. This is where the last are found in Vengeance we as so we had vengeful souls are born to death. I should say as well, I have played this, but um, it was like a while ago I played it. But yeah, I apologise for the last video. I really wasn't feeling too good in myself. I am. Um, I think I was just really tired. Um, but I didn't want to miss out another day like I did for the first two episodes of this Thirty One Days of Horror. But, um, yeah, cling film. Look how clever our little girl is. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. She takes after her daddy. Big box? What is it? Wow, nice wrapping skills. Oh my god, a puppy. I can't believe you did this. I love her. I'm gonna call you Sally. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's I got you a present. Again. Behind the Black Veil 7. Just don't expect me to watch it with you. I know you love his horror stuff, but it gives me nightmares. Ghosts? Yuck. So what we got? We got Animal, we got Under a Bloody Moon, um, Christmas Carols. Ugh. Amazonia, Escape, Machine of War, Femme Fatal, Riley Power and the Ruins of Revolution. I wonder what that's based off. Dragon Burn, Hell House, just I think it's called Moon. Is that maybe Predator? Behind Enemy Line Snow, Bubble and Trouble, Pirate of the High Seas, Bloodlust, Carnival, that's definitely Joker, Odyssey the Time Where Aliens. Dolly and Visitors and then X-Files, Gummy Bears, A New Hope, Tales from the Crypt. I'm pretty sure that's a real show, Tales from the Crypt. I know what X-Files is, but still. You, Sarah Angel Adage, take Gary Ryan Powell to be your lovely wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. Until death do you part. I do. One of the things I need to say as well, when I first played this game, I was absolutely terrified of this. Like, I know I mentioned about um, Amnesia the Bunker. But trying to play this for the first time, like, I could not walk around this house. Um... Oh my god, baby, it's perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. I love you, Gary.
0156. Um, but yeah, I really apologize for being the way I was in the last video. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I posted it. I just... Um, I don't know. Got my flight boarding ticket. I remember that. Ooh. Oh no. Oh What's with the mask? So I will say I do remember the the plot twist of this. Um But you know, I'll just let it play out. Yeah, I'll be honest, um, I think one of the main reasons that I never... I'm stuck I... at the gate and you will play with you. just the two of us in here. See you soon. I think one of the main reasons I wasn't feeling, um, doing, like, one of the main reasons that Nightfall was just so weird and I was like, not myself, um, find a way to vanquish the spirit. Okay, so it's like a police setup. Uh, I think it might have been, and again, I am really sorry. Let me in. Ooh. Next movie poster. Never good. One in Melody, two stuck in the loop with the show Shower Thoughts. Carnival. Exile. Gone Home. Mass Effect. Um. Yeah. Oh, I still hate it. I mean, I don't know what to say or what... Like, I, I don't mean to, like, sound like I'm making excuses up. Um, I feel like doing 31 Days of Horror... Really... Shut up. I feel like doing 31 Days of Horror probably didn't help. Um, you know, I don't know, sorry, let's just get into this game. Who is he? My thoughts are dark, black as night, life is sparse, a total absence of light. When it's all over, come find me here, a broken soul, I belong nowhere. 4th of June, I feel better today. June 6, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. 
so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten old from my believing us. And he blames me. And maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink, locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? I can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. Help. Um. Oh, hello again. Um. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to. Uh, what to commentate about this game because obviously I know what happens. Um, sorry, um, I guess I look in the mirror, I see only a husk. Yeah, I feel like doing 31 Days of Horror, like, non-stop, every day. Even though I've pre-recorded some of them, I feel like that probably didn't help. Um, I wasn't, I think that's what that says. I wasn't lies beyond the wall. You'll lose your soul. Out. Yeah, um, I do feel like that is a sweet ass painting, and I love that. Um, I feel like doing 31 Days of Horror non stop probably wasn't the best um, to start off with. I mean, I mean, I don't regret it. I mean, I love the idea, but. <sighs> Nice kiss mask. I'm not gonna be making excuses. Um, I'm not gonna read this because I never read it in the first when I first played it. Basically, just talking about rituals. Angry spirits are born in a violent death. To set the spirit free, you will need to perform a ritual. For this ritual, you need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit: body of the deceased, image of the deceased, clothing worn in the eyes of God, an object of ancestral significance. Once collected, cleanse the object of fire and spread the ash over the site where they were slain. I'm gonna rush past you. Honestly, because <clears throat> I have like no script that I go off and when I talk about these things, these are just my own thoughts. Um. A woman was found murdered in her home. Stabbed over ten times. Managed to make a call to 911. Had been victim to domestic abuse. Just me living in this house. He's drunk. Maybe it is my fault. I abandoned him. So much. 
All I want to say is I have no excuse for the way I was feeling playing Nightfall. Um, I mean, I know at the time I was like, find someone for a man. Ooh, nice layers of fear painting, which I would love to play again because I haven't played that in like four years or something. I haven't even played the second one. You'll be down here soon. Down the toilet. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to say was, I literally don't have any excuse for not um. For like. You know, for being the way I was in that video. Curiosity killed, curiosity killed. I do know I need to remember that. Um. Sorry to disappoint, but I know, like, everything about this game. I do remember it all. Um, but like I've been doing, this is just to fill up in gaps. You're not alone, you're definitely not alone. Um, yeah, honestly, no excuse for being the way I was. A spokesperson from the CADV or citizens against domestic violence. I mean, I don't know if I was that... if I'm as bad as I think. Um... You ready? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, I love that picture. Oh, I remember that. Um, mm. Let me look this up, because there is a very specific number you need to be in. Number 13 is for curiosity killed. Um, yeah, I wanted to just apologize to this in this video. Um, once again, I know I repeat stuff. But it was curiosity killed. I picked 13. Oh, it's nine. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm. I'm really sorry. I. God, I feel so bad for that video before. <sighs> I just want to say I promise the next video after this, um, I'm just gonna get back to doing what I what I want to do, and that was a bit of a shock. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um. I apologize 
for not, um, you know, oh, I, I'm getting backtracked because, oh no. Um, I feel such a bad, honestly. I don't know if I've mentioned in previous videos, but um, I want to say I will repeat stuff. I need you, and I love you more than I can express. Don't understand how you pass. Sometimes he scares me. He's a silver man. Yeah, I just want to say I do repeat stuff accidentally. Um. Because I, I am autistic and I have got ADHD, ADHD, um, I'll probably mention that a lot in my videos because I'll forget, um, Oh wait, no, it's not as part just yet. What is it? Shush. Sick pain. Um. Hide. No. Um, yeah, like I was trying to say, okay, so that photo is took out the frame now. Uh, next video will be better, I promise. Um, I'm going to go back into like just focusing on the video because I've got a new idea for a video. I'll post it on the community, but I don't think anyone watches them. I'm going to put like gameplay of something up and I'm going to just talk about like my fall. So he's gone, but I still hear him. He's trying to take, but it's fade. Not it. If Jumbo, what does it mean? Um, yeah. I told you. I renounce you. I just, I don't, I keep repeating what I'm saying and I'm sorry I am such a bad YouTuber. I'm probably going to lose subscribers from these two videos. Okay, just to quickly like clarify it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, next video, I'm just gonna get back into the whole horror aspect, I'm gonna talk about a few things, um, maybe during Evil Within, if it's like important to that game, but if it's not important to that game, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it to the game itself, like I have been doing for the past like 132 videos, or whatever videos I've been doing, um, but I'm gonna do, uh, Horror, like, I want to do gameplay videos, like, maybe, a, like, some Fortnite in the background, because I want to do, I want to start doing Fortnite horror maps on the channel. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do, like, Fortnite gameplay on the front, and then I'm just going to sit down and talk. You know, just, like, talk about, um... Okay, we're in the police department now. Talk about, like, 
whatever. Um, I told you I was sleeping. He was out with Maggie getting ice cream or something. I, I don't know. I was asleep. Look, my baby boy just died. And I don't know how. What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? I didn't kill my son. Yes, I had post a concussion. I told him. An investigation has begun into... Can I come in there? Good. I didn't want to. Um. Yeah. Uh. Here I go again, being the bad YouTuber. Let's just focus on the rest of this game, and you know, get it out of the way with. Turn that off. Um. I said turn it off. Okay, would you like to talk about, um, what you've been up to? Oh, hey, it's so fashion. Man, I need to say right now, this game is going to get very scary very quick because there is a certain part in this game I despise and... I... kind of hate it with a passion, so... Oh! How dare you? How dare you? So like I said, I'm just gonna get the rest of the video out of the way with, um... You know, I've talked about what I want to talk about, and now is she still there? Oh, she ain't. I, I can't hear you. Find me on the baby monitor. Is that going for a second? Are you down there, honey? I remember posting a video about this game uh, on my Facebook. Um, <clears throat> and my mum watched it, and she shit, she shit herself <laughs> because of how scary it was. Um, yeah, there's a very specific part in this that, ugh, let me tell you, I don't like it. Thimble party, okay. See, I, 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 I want to say right now, uh, these are the types of games I prefer. Um, Nightfall, the thing, I want to be honest, 
Uh, another reason I think that Nightfall video was so bad, I just want to say, is um, I think my interest got lost so quick. Um, probably because of my ADHD and my attention span. Um, yeah, nothing happened, so I kind of just got bored really quick because, like, I didn't like the idea of having to walk back and forth interactive stuff and, like, you know, find stuff as they happen. Whereas this game, it's like, you know, the objective is waiting for you. Go find it. Um, oh, no. Um... Yeah, the objective is waiting for you. Go find it. I, I prefer that approach rather than, you know, like Nightfall, it would be like interact with all of these tools. Um, find that one specific item. Oh. Find that one specific item on the map. Also, I noticed that, like, one of the masks was originally here. Um, that's the one he took off the thing. Uh. Motherfucker. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is it this part? Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, it's my most hated part. Oh! Fucking burn! Oh, no. this part very very much if anyone doesn't know this part requires you to like stand around wait for her to pop up and then like flick the light on to to get her which um I can't run. Um... I mean, I could be wrong. It might not be that part. Oh wait, no, it's not that part. It's 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 not that part at all. Ah ha ha ha. She hates light. I know she does. That's what I hate. I hated this too. Because it's the part I absolutely despise. Hey, white. Um, I had it. Oh, Ooh. I want to say, like... Sorry, I know I always say it, um, I highly recommend playing this game. It is so, so good. An investigation has begun into the tragic death of a six-month-old baby boy. Look, my boy baby boy just died. <laughs> please, please give this game a go. It is so good. I mean, try and get the Platinum if you play on PlayStation like me. Um, it's hard. Uh... I don't remember if... I don't even know if it's required actually, or it was just my brain like filling in the gaps. 
Uh, I don't remember you need to go up there. Because there's a trophy for um, hitting the lights on right as she comes along. Um, I'm not entirely sure I need to do that anymore. Um, that trophy um, was the video that scared my mom. Um, she hated it. I don't blame her. 24th March, 1985. He's like a changed man out here. At first I wasn't sure this place is creepy, but last night was simply amazing. Maybe this was a great idea. It just needs a woman's touch. Um, oh, yeah, I remember now. Don't have to tell me twice. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a picture you can take over here. Yeah, there she is. Get back in that well, wife. I was gonna make a joke about like killing her again, but I probably shouldn't make that joke. What's the objective now? Oh yeah, go get the cloth. The main reason I'm not listening to like recordings or anything is because like I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I mean half of this video was an apology. Um, Oh no! No. No. Am I walking towards you? Ah! You're not defenseless against the ghost. Darkness has one enemy. One true enemy in light. Um, to be honest, I think this guy deserves to die. I mean, he killed his wife because down there was some really weird shit going on just needs a woman's touch cold day it changed the man out there um i think the whole idea of this guy is like his wife lost a baby um The stage is my home, the fans my drug, carry Kinshaw. Find object of ancestrals. What are you? Oh, okay. Um I remember there's a very specific room I need to be in, I think it's this one. Uh I don't know. I think this guy deserves to die. Um, 
I mean, the whole idea of the story, I believe. Um, sorry for the spoilers. Uh, maybe click off the video if you don't want to see them. Because this is just like a speed walkthrough of the game. Uh... Um, I think the whole idea. Aha, got you, bitch. The whole idea is that he's like lost his his, his wife lost the baby, so he got pissed. Um. He got drunk. Um, when he got drunk, he ended up killing her. That's like my delineation. I don't remember if he can like break out. I never actually found out. Um, let's hope I don't find out. Or maybe let's hope I do, because then. I will scream. I deserve it. Uh, hello. Oh, wait, did he actually break out? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, buddy. Bye bye. That's just like an out. Ah, oh, shit, this. <sighs> All that training paid off, it seems. As she came first, Mom, I'm so sorry for everything that's happened to you. I can't do this anymore. Do you know how many times I hid under my bed listening to dad hurting you? Falling asleep under the bed to the sound of you crying? I hate you for not taking me away from here years ago. I'm running away with my boyfriend and I won't be coming back. I'd be safer living on the streets than I am here and that's no way for me to live. I'm old enough now to understand that none of this is normal. Maybe we'll see each other again someday, but I never want to see him again. Get help, Mom. I do love you. Love always, Maggie. Okay. So yeah, Maggie left. Um, obviously the baby died. Oh shit! Sorry about that, I was just uh, contacting Game of Sucks. Um Wife Always with the foot, um I think I was meant to die that many times. Perhaps. Throw the switch. Bright light. She can't stand it. Okay.
Why are you over there now? Ah, what are you doing? Ooh. Oh, it's delicious. I hope you enjoy feasting on my heart. I can hear the fucking pitter patters of your feet and I don't like it. I don't know why, but it, it, it kind of gives, it's giving me vibes of, um, my wife keeps peeking around me from corners. The way she's like moving. It's still there. I just want to get out of here. Burn, bitch. Okay, so it's triangle, um, I gotta admit, I love the concept of this game, like, um, I'm not gonna spoil what the concept is, I mean, I'll talk about it at the end. Uh... Again, sweet painting. Uh, sorry, I just thought something really funny. Honestly, I might as well mention it because I'm just going to keep thinking about it. Um, I just randomly thought of the Odd Ones Out video. Um, where he talks about comment sections. And he's on about like the internet and how people can just. How people can just be like, get your IP address. And um, then it cuts to him being like, and now I'm outside their mother's house. <laughs> And he throws a rock in the at the mom's window and he goes, first! I don't know, that's just... Out of context, um... It might not seem funny, but God, it made me laugh. Oh. 
take your time. Okay, so the pigeon did nothing. Unless... No, I don't know what to say then. That's because I got right up to us. Let me like just look up the code, cause like inflection save code. Ten left, fifty right, five left. Ten left. 50 right, 5 left. So probably the code is in the top desk drawer, but... Adage? I, don't, I like how this guy's like, I'm not going to try and, like, help the spirit be like, you know, I'm not going to try and ease the spirit out of, out of hurting me. I'm just going to banish it. That's it, the next fuck you to your wife, practically. She hates me for not standing up to him. She cry out I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. I can't just leave him like this. Burn the items. Mm, that means I'm gonna have to find the lighter, isn't it? While she's patrolling, perhaps? Funny thing is, I don't remember where the lighter is. Wait, no, I do. It's in the kitchen. Or have you moved it? I bet this door's gonna be locked. Nope. That looks fun. That looks safe. The search grid has begun over the crash site. Shush. Okay, why didn't it work? Do it again. Okay, I remember now, you gotta find multiple lighters because one of them ain't gonna work. Candlelist always lights the way, does it? And who wrote that? Was it my wife? Oh, what's this? Although some big demon ass cheeks. That's one. I'm going to close the door now and I'm going to hide. Return to the scene of the crime. I don't think we're gonna be able to get there in time. I think she's coming right now, probably. Bitch gonna be running up them running down them stairs or up them stairs, or I don't know, she's gonna be at the end of the hallway or something, or she's gonna sprint from the bathroom, or she's gonna sprint from that room, or that room, or she's gonna sprint out of here, and I keep mentioning stuff. I'm gonna close the door. Um... Spread your ashes. 
so you don't kill me. She's gonna sprint through that door. That's, that's literally what I imagine the smiling wife looks like from Creepcast. I, that, I think that was like my first episode from Creepcast that I listened to. Um, oh, so cold. Yeah, I think that was like my first ever... Creepcast episode, which got me hooked immediately. I mean, I don't... I think I remember Hunter mentioning Creepcast in his videos, um, but I never actually went to listen to them. Mainly because um, I've never been a podcast guy. I mean, one of the podcasts I try to listen to, um, well, two of them I try to listen to, um, was Distractable. Um, couldn't get away with it for some reason. Uh, then I try to listen to Cream Crew. You know, leave this place means go in the basement, of course. It's starting to grow on me. Perfect. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't get away with Cream Crew. I mean, I don't know, I need the visual as well. No sacrifice was life I'm assuming that's like the creators. I never actually picked that up when I first played it or the second time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, just for anyone that doesn't know, this guy is trapped in hell. Uh, the fat guy represents gluttony. You finally arrived. I overestimated your comprehension skills. No matter, you finally get it. If you take your place, someone will be with you, and we can begin that. Yeah, it's all to do with sins. Um, I never understood what he represented. Or the guy on the right, but I think the left one represents uh, gluttony. And that was Infliction Extended Cut. Um, I truly do love this game. Um, I know I pretty much sped through it and I just talked about the channel and had a few like faces at the end and I was like what's going on um but no I love this game uh, it still holds up to be like one of the best horror games indie horror games that I played um there's also at the end there's a um I'm pretty sure I don't know if it's at the end or it's like a little extra possibly um you get to pick which door you go through and each door represents like a little um a little easter egg to a a certain game like um i'll say a certain game like there is a ring reference which obviously is a movie um I'm pretty sure there's more, but I don't remember them. Uh, and they've also got um, a museum in the game, which 
Bioshock had one. Um, this game had one. Modern Warfare 3 or 2 had one, which... Um, God damn. Scared me as a kid. Which I would love to talk about in a, in a separate video. Um, yeah, them games all had museums and I think it's like really cool that they had the museum. Um, the museum is just... You, obviously you get to read like all the little... They served, I don't know that number. So yeah, it pretty much it represents that he's in hell now. Um, I'm trying to think as well. <sighs> the museum just basically like shows you. Um, if you didn't know that some games have museums. One of the games is um, Benny the Ink Machine, which is another fan favorite of mine. Um, <laughs> Okay, that's the ring. That to me is Pinhead or Hellraiser. That, I want to say that's Texas Chainsaw and that I'm not entirely sure. I'm between these two. Um, but yeah, like museums will like explain what the developers thought were going through the games and like they'll show you the early character models. Like Benny the Ink Machine had a mint one where it was like, it showed you what the original Bendy looked like. Um, I was like so, so shocked. Like it was like a little circle with like teeth jutting out of its head. And I thought that was really cool to say that. Um, since he's on Fortnite at the minute and I have bought him, um, I'm gonna go in here. Assuming this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, it's probably something completely different. Ooh. <laughs> you got that Ash Williams arm. And that was infliction. Um, that's that's all for infliction. It's a great game. I highly recommend checking it out. I believe it's only like under ten pound, um, no more than twenty pound. Um, sometimes you can get it on deal. Um, I think I got it on deal back in like I want to say twenty eighteen, but that's probably like an overestimate, probably like 2020 or 2019. Um, great game. Um, I love the developers, you did a great job on this game. Um, I'm sorry that I kind of ruined your game by talking about like my past mistakes. Um, but that is all for this episode. I hope you are enjoy, I hope you've enjoyed the 31 Days of Horror. I mean, we've still got um, like four more videos to do but it's coming to a close and I will definitely be doing it next year so I hope to see you in the next video that I do and this is goodbye for now but I messed that up because that was my old outro but you know goodbye <laughs>